right, this is Fall River. This is the USS Massachusetts right ahead of us right now. And Pete, you know, the boat was using uh, the Korean War? World War II. World War II? Massachusetts used World War II. Oh, incredible. And like you said, there's only one spot where it took a, a bomb hit. Yeah, on the other side? On the other side. I think they have it uh, They have it marked off where it actually took a bomb hit during oh, World War II. Okay, okay, okay. It's a big ship, you know, back in the day, you know, yeah. compared to other ships, you know, probably one of the biggest ones. Well, the, uh, the Iowa and the Missouri were bigger, but I think that was the only two ships that were bigger. That were bigger it has than... the same guns, the 16-inch guns that the Missouri and the Iowa had. Those big ones right in front over there? The front. There's, there's six in the front and three in the back. It's got nine. My God! 16-inch guns. They can uh, they can lobby two-ton shell 25 miles. My goodness. So this is don't mess with us kind of boat, right? Yeah, we don't don't use them anymore. We don't use battleships anymore. Now it's just playing. aircraft carriers, destroyers. Those kind of ships, you know, they wouldn't last long probably against a few planes, right? No, not anymore. World War II proved that since we lost all our uh, battleships at Pearl Harbor. Yes. You know, that proof of the, the, you know, the firepower of aircraft. Yeah. So we're here at US, USS Massachusetts. This is the... Uh, that a cool looking boat. 7 millimeter anti-aircraft. That's a 50 caliber anti-aircraft and anti-boat. And it's all made of plywood. It's all made of plywood. Incredible. And it's not that big, you know, when you look inside. It's not. Well, they had huge engines, though. Absolutely oh, yeah. enormous engines. They were incredibly fast. And the, uh, they were actually, you know, this. this torpedo tubes. Torpedo. So that. Is it a real, a real one? Well, that's a real tube. Torpedo. There's a torpedo on the other side. Okay. Incredible. And you had a machine gun right there? Yep. It's a dual 50. Wow. Amazing. Again, this is, it, it was used during what? Uh, the, uh, World War II. So World the War torpedo II. would be inside here, and it would be full of compressed air. And you can see that it's, it's on the boat, but when they fired it, the compressed air would actually shoot it off. It would shoot it out the front. And if it, if it didn't have enough air, it would hit the boat. Oh my God. Yeah, so it actually had to shoot it out the front. Things amazing. That's it, incredible. And you would store the torpedo here. Actually, I think that's, uh, that's a, um, no, that's not the torpedo. That's, um, that's a depth charge. Okay. okay. And okay. they would just roll them off. And this is a... Uh... Actually, Pete, the way the torpedo would work is it would work underwater, go underwater. And then the smell detector here would detect when it's underneath. It would detect when it when it was underneath the ship. It would detect metal. There was a big magnetometer in here. Okay. So it would detect when it was under metal. And when it found out, figured out that it was under a ship, then it would explode. So it didn't hit the ship. It went under it, and the explosion would actually break the boat in two. Oh my God! So this is a real one. And well, another. These are, yeah, they're, they're empty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, these are real. They're just, they're just deactivated. Right. Incredible. The 796. Another beautiful boat. And uh, the torpedo looks very awesome. And what's the, the difference between this one and the one we saw just earlier? These were aircraft torpedoes. Okay. So they're, they're actually a little smaller. Um, but what, the way they worked was totally different. They didn't get fired out of the tube like a gun. These, when the, the captain gave the order to fire the torpedo, he'd just pull the lever, that lever up there. The latch would come down and the, and the torpedo would just roll off the side. My God, and you had the lever right there. Yeah, you can see it on the, if you look across to the other side, yep. you can see how the lever worked. My God, so it's less dangerous to, to hit your boat, actually, well, than yeah, the other, the other one. ones. If, if they didn't have enough power, when they shot out of the tube, they would hit the front of the boat and smash it because they're just made out of wood. Oh, exactly. And these torpedoes are a couple of tons. Yep. That's incredible. All right, with my good friend Pete. Hi, Pete. How are you? Hey. <laughs> oh, you look great in black and white, by the way. Thanks. <laughs> and this is, uh, whoa, oh my God, beautiful. It's a Russian missile cruiser. I don't know much about it. 
you can see that had the uh, the two the two uh, missile tubes there. Yes. And they had the launcher rails. The missile would come out and shoot up the rails. My goodness. It's actually not that big, but I mean, it looks to be like for some uh, heavy uh, heavy destruction. With the size of those missiles, it didn't need to be. <laughs> no, exactly. I mean, it was made probably for uh, shoot and, and run. Shoot and run. My God. Breaking. 